okay. for any of the Bron color heads okay. or any of this is standard also fit. But what it now does is it only lets through the UV spectrum of the flashlight. So its uses are for things such as museums and art galleries, right. where because it's only UV, it can physically go through the pigment right. of paint to show original sketches on paintings below the paint. Okay. Also things like forensics, uh, minerals, because they fluoresce to a certain spectrum of light. Right. So you could shoot um, the original flash and get one spectrum coming back to you. Okay. You could use a timed exposure, not use the flash, but pick up the delay afterwards and you get an afterglow from the UV. Okay. Or you could combine the two on a timed exposure to get the flash and the afterglow, which gives you another result as well. Okay. Huh. If, you, if you look to more to the creative side of things, the you could also look at fashion for this, because again, because of shooting in UV, you get very different skin tones, textiles, fluoresce, right. yeah. so it, it's more of a creative tool in that respect. Have you, like, I guess, uh, who have you been selling these to so far? So, so far for, for us in the UK, it's been it's been the museums okay. for their archiving. I see. Uh, because obviously they, they can't they, they hold x-rays and things like that to look at. That, right. that, that's just brilliant because they already understand flash photography. Right. And I guess they already have the optical instrumentation Absolutely. to capture. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And, and the fashion guides because it's something different for them to add, you know, well, for a new client. I guess for them, what are they capturing with then? Like, are they like are they just regular cameras or yeah. do they need special... Okay. No, it's, it's, it, as long as you take UV, any UV filter off, okay. a digital chip will still capture. Okay, so they're modifying the chip off. Okay, I see. Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you.